Hello guys, it is me, Abomination115, and today I have a video on the patch notes for GTA 5 1.06. So the update just came out today, uh, the 19th of November, and uh, along with the update there was a bunch of patches um, and the new Beach Bum Pack. So uh, the Beach Bum Pack features new um, vehicles, um, clothing, stuff like that. Um, Along with that, there's going to be 30 new jobs that you can do around uh, the map. Um, but I'll go into the beach bum pack later on. I'm going to make a separate video on that. But um, So, uh, with the title update, I'm going to leave these patch notes in the description. So if you want to check them out, you can go and click on them. Um, but there's been a lot of patch notes. So they fix an issue where the game would delete your personal vehicle if you have another player in it when you had a tracker in it and insurance. Uh, fix an issue where players could become stuck on the aerial view when entering GTA Online with cloud servers down and having just launched a mini game. Fix an issue where the mission and damage goods would start even though it had previously been completed. Fixed an issue where under rare circumstances players couldn't claim back their personal vehicle in, uh, in GTA Online. Fix an issue where under rare circumstances Players were able to get the D-Class Sheriff's SUV into Los Santos Customs and respray it, causing the menus to malfunction. Fixed an issue where um, players would occasionally get stuck after killing a pedestrian with a golf ball. Fixed an exploit where players could retain their personal vehicle after selling it at Los Santos Customs mod, mod shop by tra transitioning back and forth between story mode and online. Correcting, uh, correcting an exploit where players could repeatedly sell the Batty 801 to Los Santos Customs. Uh, so that was the bike glitch where people were using to get loads and loads and loads of money. Um, correcting an exploit where players were able to duplicate vehicles by accepting a mission while leaving a high-end garage. Correcting an exploit where a player could start a team deathmatch with all players on the same team. And uh, players are no longer able to delete their GTA Online character while the Rockstar Cloud servers are unavailable. So they're the patch notes for 1.06. Um, so they've patched a bunch of exploits, a bunch of money-making methods, um, stuff like that, uh, duplicating cars, all that stuff. Um, but they've also added some more stuff um, along with the Beachman pack and the updates. They've added... Um, dynamic tuning to GTA Online so the bad sport penalty for destroying personal vehicles has been reduced significantly so I think it was two days or something like that so it's been reduced quite a lot players will no longer receive a bad sport penalty when they are in a non-moving tank and other players crash a vehicle into them the GTA dollars and RP rewards for races, death matches, death matches and parachuting are now based on the average time they take to complete. Players now receive GTA dollars and RP rewards when failing a cooperative job or being a member of the losing team during a versus mission, depending on how long the job or mission lasts. <coughs> Um, players now receive a bonus GTA dollar multiplier for missions when played at the higher difficulty levels. Normal, uh, you get 25% more and hard, you get 50% more. In Team Deathmatch, all players on a team now receive the same GTA dollars and RP awards, with the winning team getting roughly 4 to 5 times the amount that the losing team receives. Um, Removed some instances of debris in specific races, including the cardboard from the down the drain race. So, uh, what's that saying there is in a down the drain race, you could get like stuck on cardboard or spin out on cardboard, and it was it was kind of annoying, but they've fixed that now. Um, deliveries from Pegasus have been reduced from one thousand dollars to two hundred dollars. So, whenever you go to call your tank, as I'm doing now, it would normally cost you. Uh, $1,000 but that has been uh, reduced to $200 which I think is uh, a good um, a good sort of idea so as you can see there Rhino Tank cost $200 for to be delivered to me 
Restricted cars and vehicles that have been added to the players' garages for exploits have been removed. This includes tanks, helicopters and police vehicles. So if I head over to my garage right now, you're going to, going to see that if you haven't seen the videos on my channel, go and check them out. But you used to be able to get tanks and police vans and police cars and helicopters and laser jets and the whole fucking lot into your garage for exploits. And uh, I had a tank and a riot van in there. And they're both gone now, um, if you keep watching. Um, restrict the yep, episode, that's the same one I was about to read out. Um, the following vehicles have been added to the Southern Andreas Super Autos website in game the BF Dune Buggy, the Canis uh, Bodhi, the Karen Rebel, the Mai Batsu Sanchez 2, the Vapid Saddler, the Vapid Sand King SWB. Sorry if I pronounced any of those wrong. Uh, I couldn't really pronounce some of the names. And to eliminate any remaining vehicle loss issues, an additional automatic cloud, cloud uh, save, blah, blah, blah. An additional automatic cloud save will rec will occur when purchasing a vehicle or vehicle modification. So um, that's all of the updates. Just one thing that wasn't removed during the update was that the uh, um, alien buggy was not removed from people's uh, garages even though uh, it was a modded car. Um, all other modded cars, all glitch vehicles were removed, but the alien buggy was not, so I still have my alien buggy right here. Um, as you can see, most of my cars have been removed, um, along with my uh, along with my adder, my um, my uh, felts, stuff like that. Don't know why, but they're gone. Um, so yeah, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to read the patch notes for yourselves, again, they will be in the description, and there will be no more videos on the beach bum pack to come in like future videos. So yeah, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Check out the guys in the description. Check out the link in the description, and I'll see you 